There is a common misconception about Poland being a poor country and underdeveloped. And this is far from the truth. Poland is one of the growing, the fastest growing economies in Europe. So today, with the Polish entourage. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> you can tell they're twins. <laughs> the Polish entourage are gonna be showing me around modern Warsaw to show you how far Poland has come. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. So this very tall building just behind me is called the Palace of Culture and Science. Now, ironically, this building was gifted by the Soviet Union to Poland. It used to be called Joseph Stalin, Palace of Culture and Science. Obviously, Poland wanting to be moving away from its Soviet past, it's now just called the Palace of Culture. That's where we're gonna be heading up to. We're gonna be going all the way to the top to see a view of Warsaw. Whoa, this door is super heavy. And then we have an electronic one here. And this is the first floor. And we are just waiting in the queue with these two Polish punch keys. <laughs> Dzień dobry, uh, three tickets. So 75 zlotys. There we go. Right. Uh, go around? Yep. All right, so we have got our tickets. How long did we have to wait in the queue? I would say like 10 minutes, maybe okay. less. So not too long to wait in the queue. And <laughs> he told us to go around. So we get a little bit look into the restaurant here in the Palace of Culture. It looks very old school. Ah, wait. Okay, I guess we're not going around. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he said you He said to go around, yeah. Yes. I'm so confused. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, okay. We will find out. All right, I guess we... All right, we'll go. <laughs> At least we got a tour of the restaurant. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, now this makes sense. Yeah. One for you, Pancho. And Carolina. Perfect. Oh, where is it? There you go. <laughs> Try not to rip the ticket. You donut. No, not you punch not it. Here. You punch it. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got your contacts in? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we just scan like this. Oh wait, underneath. Well, there we go. I like a little sound on there. So we have to wait here for the lift. It looks like. All right, we're heading into the lift. Ladies first. After you. Are we going to fit, guys? <laughs> uh, oh, all right. I'll see you up there then. <laughs> all right, we're going to the 30th floor. This is very cozy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the lift door and I can see everyone. Dzień <laughs> dobry. Oh, here we go. All right, are we? Oh, hello. Jen <laughs> Did he say Happy New Year? I think he did. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so this is the terrace. So you can see Taras. Yeah, we got the stairs. So, wow. Let's have a look at this view over here, guys. So you've got, you can stand up here. You can see McDonald's is just over here. <laughs> and this is the view. This is the museum, the new museum here, right? Yeah, yeah. What is it called? Modern this one? Museum. It's the one that I don't like. Yeah, because Museum it's... of Modern Art. So there is a museum of modern art that I really don't like because when you're on the main road, it's like an eyesore. It literally covers up the Palace of Culture, which is so beautiful. I think it's a Lego the... block. What, what, it do... could have been a purpose, like purposely chosen the place to cover but, maybe the Palace of Culture. But why? Because it's so beautiful, the Palace of Culture. No, it's just pol politics. It reminds, it's controversial. And it's also, it also reminds about our history, right? Yeah. Yes. But, it, but the thing is, that it looks quite ugly, this. Like, they could have created a new, a better one. Do you, what, do you think people in Warsaw would agree with me, or...? I think I would agree. Like, yeah. I don't like it from the uh, bottom, like, to see, like, such a yeah. huge ice cube. Honestly, I, I would go to see yeah. what's inside, because I've seen some, like, 
proposals what yeah. could be inside the museum, but I don't think so. People are really happy with the uh, The place. general feeling is that they're not happy. And I'm, as a person who's been to Warsaw quite a few times, I really like just the view of Palace of Culture. Despite the history, own, yeah. it still makes the city look very beautiful. All right, so uh, there's a lot of construction happening just over in this area because they're renovating it into a park. So I guess the museum kind of makes up this kind of reconstruction or redesign. So this is the site of Old Town. You can also see in the background the uh, uh, National Stadium and then the Old Town over there. But on the other side, we will see uh, Polish New York. This is what I was talking about. Polish New York. Okay, I'm going to try and fit my GoPro through here, but you can see all of the skyscrapers. What is that area called with all the skyscrapers just over here? Do you know? And so this is like the business there. district? Uh, one bit of it, because in Warsaw, like we have different parts of the city with different small business districts, but definitely this is the newest, let's say, bits. And Pamcha, what do you think? Yeah, so I've never worked somewhere there, but uh, it's as you see, the one is like uh, being created even, and they are so quickly created. Yeah, they are actually popping up. Uh -huh. They are popping up like mushrooms. There are some of the uh, remaining buildings that were not destroyed during, during the Second World War. So but just over here. Not so many, but they look beautiful now. This is definitely the best view of the city. So you're saying these kind of buildings over here, these yeah. ones are, weren't destroyed? They were the most like typical buildings. But the interesting thing is if you see Warsaw like this, most of Warsaw, like I would say what 90 something percent yeah. was destroyed. So this is all pretty much quite new. So this building behind me is called Zwarte Terrasse. Yes. Means golden terraces. This is a shopping mall. There's a guy on a mic just over there. Doing some weird stuff. <laughs> just uh, we're gonna capture him on B-roll. Um, but this is Zwarte Terrasse, golden terrace. Yeah. It's a and shopping mall. It's a shopping mall. And this building here is where Lewandowski has an apartment. Yeah, and all of the other wealthy people because it's actually apparently the most modern building in the central region. So Zwota 44. Yes. This is the building where Lewandowski might, might live when he's in Warsaw. And again, my guy in the mic is uh, disturbing, disturbing yeah. the scenes. But uh, we're gonna head into. We're gonna head into Zwarte. Yeah. Hopefully, because today it's a Sunday, so it might get closed, but we want to show you the architecture from inside. In Poland, we've got uh, trade-free Sundays, so mm -hmm. that's why it uh, could be only accessible, like... What's, what's trade-free Sunday? So we don't have... The shops are closed, because our government wants us to spend time with the families and doing the things... This on guy on the mic! Like in Germany, actually. In Germany, it's the same, so even bakeries are closed. Okay, so a lot of things are closed on a Sunday. Yeah. There are demons. His representatives are demons and even ordinary people who are working for the devil. So we've got Hard Rock Cafe just here. It is very, very windy and my guy's still on the mic. <laughs> uh, fun times. All right, guys, so this is where we're going to be entering into. Yes, let's try. All right, let's head in inside. So the Polish entourage was telling me that every tourist, every foreigner coming to Poland would come here. Oh wow, it's actually very nice. It's like an open kind of terrace. Open terrace, <laughs> so you can actually see through the roof. Oh, not recording. Oh, no recording. No. Is there a reason or? Oh, okay. We can't record anything, no. even for like YouTube. Uh, you can only record with your phone. Oh, just with the iPhone? Yeah. But this is like uh, similar. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, but... Okay, so no, no, uh, yeah. no, no, uh, okay. All right, so we can't record in here, but with a phone we can. Very strange. So all the shops you can see, I'm recording on the GoPro because I think it's silly that I can't record uh, on this. I can only record on my phone. But uh, as Punch was saying earlier on... It's kind of uh, like uh, frustrating that we've got shops closed because you know, sometimes you just want to have this Sunday shopping done and you cannot do it. This so. is a part of like Polish culture though, is it, part, is it a religious thing? Uh, kind of, yeah. kind of, yeah. The government wants us to spend time with family, not doing shopping. 
Okay. So basically, that's their like idea. But... See, this even Zara, look, it's all closed off. There's nothing really. Over. It's that's why it's very dead. Yeah. You know, a, a shopping Only center in the UK on a Sunday would be full. Yeah, that's. That was like the decision of the government, but I don't find it always like it's not helpful helping, at all. Yeah. Yeah, because look, literally, this is closed. That is closed. A lot of those students who would like to work during weekends, they can work like partially in some uh, industries, but not here. Yeah. We are still recording. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that I can film on my iPhone, but I can't film on the GoPro, and. Nothing's really open here, so I don't understand uh, the logic. So that's why I like to push back when people say to me I can't film because I'm, if, if anything, I'm doing marketing for this place. And it is quite nice, actually, um, this kind of like terrace here. You can see the rooftop. We've got Subway, KFC. It's just a nice place to hang out. What do you guys think about the whole camera situation? Yeah, it's just weird. Like there's no reason for it and you can record with your phone Let's exactly the same thing you guys <laughs> made my day oh this is a very heavy door as well mm -hmm. what's it with heavy doors in <laughs> warsaw in <laughs> oh. wow look at this stuff all these beautiful cakes chasto Yes, this is actually like monoportia, like monoportia, mono just one single portion. Are these all teas? And yeah. yeah all, so you've got all these teas in the background as well. Um, okay, can I go for uh, one of the ramon? So this one over here looks very nice, like a dark chocolate. For me, one uh, blanca. So blanca is this one over here. Yes. And also one red rose for yes. pamcha. That's what I wanted, uh, rose. <laughs> so, you wanted coffee as well? Yes, um, so one Americano, please. Uh, without milk? Without milk for Pamela. And, and um, we were wondering about the tea. So, is there any uh, tea menu? What is your favorite tea? Uh, actually, I like uh, white tea and white boss. Uh, and oh, you love white boss. I do like white boss. Mm -hmm. Try to smell. My favorite tea was so it's apple, raspberry. Oh, it's very fruity. Yeah. It's very fruity. You know, if it's your favorite one, I'll give it a go. Uh, okay, and also maybe white tea. Okay. And this one is? White tea with some peach and apple. Oh, that's nicer, I think. Do you want to smell that one? Mm. Pamcha. Let, we'll let Pamcha choose. Okay, you smell this one? Mm. You like Fruity. it? Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll go for that one actually. Is it okay? Uh, just one, and then you wanted a. Uh, maybe I want. You want a tea? Maybe coffee. Yeah, I will also go yeah, for I coffee. Order, 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 order so you want two coffees? Maybe two americanos. Please. Okay. Two americanos and one tea. tea. Okay. Oh, this is the lemonade that I love in the UK. Yeah, the Fentimans Rose lemonade. Just over there? Okay. Thank you, Emma. Ah, yes. In Polish Lotties, number one. There we go. The desserts have arrived. This is for you, Pancha. Look at that. Rose. That's the Bianca. And this is the Ramon. Do you say Jinkoya me Yes. Okay, Jinkoya me bazo. It is finally time to have our mono portions. This is the Ramon, and you can see there's like hazelnuts on here. There's actually pieces of gold mm -hmm. on here. Um, so this is a more of a hazelnut base. There's like a caramel mousse. There's so many ingredients. And mine Pancha. is like a dessert that was created for a woman's day. And I think that its side is uh, raspberry and mascarpone cream, but let's try it out. I'm gonna bring that even closer because look, look at how beautiful that is. Look at the kind of design. It's I don't amazing. know if the, if the uh, drops are visible, but it's just perfect. All right, should we give it a go? Yeah. All right. I don't want to destroy this mono yeah, portion. It's so beautiful. It's like a little masterpiece. Okay. So I would like to so this see is also the inside. Oh, nice. So that is the inside of mine. Let's give this a go. And this is the inside of mine. Mm. Mascarpone, raspberries. So it's super rich, very chocolatey. Um, it's dark chocolate. And then you've got the kind of crunch of the nuts. It's a, it's, you can taste the hazelnut very strong in this uh, mono portion. Mine is kind of soft and I don't know, but it's like a biscuit. 
with a spinach like, or something. Oh, there we go. Yes, guys, please see this masterpiece. What does it taste I like? I think it's a sponge cake. It's a sponge cake, but also it tastes like a cream, mm -hmm. like, yeah. a, like a sour cream, but it's sweet, of course. Mm. And it's very soft. I like it. It's, uh, I don't have hazelnuts or, or any nuts in here. But it's more like a fruity one. Yes, a fruity one, but look, guys, how beautiful is this cake. It's as delicate and as uh, like girlish style as uh, Carolina is. Yeah, so you uh, actually uh, said that we all chose the uh, cakes for our personalities. You're the red one, Jay the black one. <laughs> chocolatey one <laughs> and be the white That's one. That's because I like chocolate. <laughs> yes. So this is actually with uh, also like the mousse, uh, which is infused with air grey and the tea. Uh, I think uh, the tea and also the fig is on the top. So let's give it a go. Oh. Oh. This is interesting. This is like a, also like the sponge cake underneath and also some fig. Kind of matches your dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very elegant. It's very it's soft. Beautiful. It's creamy. I think yeah. you've got this. I don't know how to call it in English. It's but like a mousse. Mm -hmm. It's not a mousse. It's a galaretka in Polish. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. What's that? What's the translation? Like kind of like a, this like is a kind jelly. of like a jelly, but it's more like ah, a, it's a jelly inside. Yes, there. yes, yes. Yeah, it's I think black currant jelly, but mm -hmm. I can taste the tea as well. It's so beautiful. I love it. And the fig on top. Mm. All right, guys. So. We've also got some beautiful teas and coffees, and this is a great time to say thank you to Twee White. Yeah. So Twee, tea, thank you for the tea. Um, really loving your Hajang Loop videos. Keep up the good works. So that was our videos in Vietnam, and you donated 35 drinks. So That's we crazy. Really, really appreciate your support. And again, all of the donations go into our travels and making content. There is a link in the description if you want to buy us some coffees. You can buy us one, you can buy us five, you can buy us 100, how many you want. And you can also leave us a message. And we can, we always do kind of uh, a little shout out. Yeah, for and you will see these happy faces. Like, <laughs> well, we have to give us a try actually. Yeah. So you've got a Let's coffee. Let's give it a try. It's Americano, black coffee. All right. And the mm. first sip tastes Ooh. as always the best. I love it. So mine's a very fruity tea. Um, I think it's like a peach mm -hmm. and apples in it. It was the one we smelled yeah. that smelled really fruity. I mm. can't even smell it now. <laughs> now the interesting thing is actually they've given us a timer. Uh, this one just over here. And it's got one, two, and three. Uh, one, three, and five minutes. minutes. So three minutes you're supposed to kind of drink it, I guess. Yeah. But anyways, thank you so much Twee White for your donations. And you can see there are very nice cars. You got Porsche, Audi. I also saw a Lamborghini just Around the corner, I wanted to film it, but yeah, it ran off. It's, it's apparently going very often around this Zhibovsky Square because I used to live around, so I saw this car very often. Oh, look at these cars! Check these out, guys. So this looks like a this one's a BMW, but it looks like a very brand new BMW. And over here, this looks like a Rolls Royce. Wow! Look at that. Let's see is. A Rolls Royce. Don't want to get too close because the owner might be around here. Yeah. Probably uh, <laughs> eating in one of these. Uh... Yeah, here is the owner was Polish and the other one was Ukrainian. So also we've got some influx of foreigners in Warsaw. Oh my God. It's very windy, right? So not everything is super modern here in the center of Warsaw. You've got this building over here. You can see we're surrounded by these skyscrapers, but you do have quite old buildings and then you've got a very brand what kind of brand new looking kind of complex over there but is that like normal to have the contrast of like the old I would and say the so new not all of the owners would uh, be able to renovate or yeah. you know you have different uh, laws but, so but the, why is this this looks like it's abandoned this yeah, building yeah and that's why probably they cannot really do anything with this but uh, yeah no i love idea. this actually uh, lift it's straight up to the top to my favorite rooftop bar and the the club. top and the club there's a yes, club at the top yeah. you were going where, where are we going clubbing yeah. who are you going one clubbing of the with, best huh? with with this me. one <laughs> dancing on the roof can you tell these guys are identical or not identical are they yes. from the same egg <laughs> so this area you got the skyscrapers not so many but this is like um would you say it's like a modern area yeah, it starts one. here yeah. yeah but then on this side you've got 
these boarded up kind of bricks in the windows. They're not even they're not even wood. So you got some wood over there, but then you've got pretty much boarded up windows. Abandoned. But I think in every country. Gotta be careful of the uh, bike lanes. Sorry. In every city, you've got the areas that you know sometimes investments are not going well, and this, that's the example that maybe somebody invested in it and stopped in the middle of work. So. Yeah. Who knows? But it's, it seems that it's you know a city center and it's a, it's a city center of contrast. So yeah. even though it's mo very modern in parts, you still do see some of the kind of older uh, buildings. Indeed. And for me, it's kind of strange that they wouldn't be investing in like projects to build it into yeah. things. Maybe more to come. Sirens are in the background. We are at Rondosh. Rondosh. Uh, yeah. Some of these Polish words, I tell you. Roundabout so what is i can see a lot of very official buildings here so tell me about this area is it like the business district or yeah it's another part of like the financial let's say center like here for example there's a um like google um, headquarter or any other financial firms samsung is also there yeah and uh you can see just in the you've got the trams going by which are they elect electric trams some of them and the buses also sometimes mm -hmm. are electric but you can see it, the kind of landscape here and actually all of the pavement seems like it's brand new like it seems very clean you can believe official. it you can believe it or not but when we moved there so around seven and eight years ago everything was here under construction yeah. and the only building everything here yeah everything there here. was like this whole area was yeah, not there, there was no no such yeah, area not a bike lane <laughs> no not, not even there was a pavement old one okay so imagine what was happening here for eight years now <laughs> a lot of development yeah. so as people who've lived in warsaw have you noticed the past 10 years like a change in development is it a massive change yeah I would say, yeah and also do you what about people People as well, so there is an influx of more international people. You can see that there is students coming to, uh, you know, participate in this like education abroad, mm -hmm. or like people going to international firms, like starting their first jobs abroad. It's basically that it's more international now. Okay. Yeah, I agree. There are a lot of foreigners, and actually many people are also like kind of saying. To others to visit Poland, you know, yeah. especially Warsaw, including great. me. <laughs> exactly. Like uh, when you first came, you were surprised. What? Yeah, I was actually but surprised. Would you recommend? So what I noticed when I came mm -hmm. from the UK here is that the services are great. Yeah. Things feel very easy. Um, the food is great. Things are actually because of the pound. Uh, the things are, are quite, are... quite yeah, quite yeah. good. And I just felt like this was a great place to live, at least in Warsaw. I, what, what's this building over here? That's the Warsaw, Warsaw Spire. Spire. This is the Warsaw Spire? Yeah. Wow. It's very... It looks like a spire, no? Very beautiful. And so tell me about the Warsaw Spire. So this, is, this was one of the first buildings which were built here. And they've actually put a lot of investment into it to make sure that this area will be um, also like good for any other buildings. But what I can say that it's uh, a lot of like... Um, offices inside but also a gym so yeah, it's mostly for office uh, yeah. office space you yeah. can see this entire area this seems like a lot of office space but uh to carry on the point i have just noticed very uh quickly when i came to warsaw that it wasn't underdeveloped it wasn't poor there were these misconceptions that i don't know where they came from but life actually here in poland i believe there's a higher quality of life than back home in the uk uh, there is the notion, like the kind of conception in the UK that the UK is on the decline, which I do believe it to be true. A lot of in income in inequality, but here in Warsaw, in Poland, uh, it's just very nice to be here. It's a very nice place to live. Can we actually go into the Warsaw Spire? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're heading into the Warsaw Spire. You can see Warsaw Spire. It's, don't even need to move this with my hand, do I? place is always kind of welcoming you with a nice scent. I, I feel like I'm in the future. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. This actually looks like the future. I love the uh, the title, Warsaw Spire there. Even these chairs. Look at these chairs. It all looks kind of futuristic. Oh, wow. What I really like is 
there, like a kind of like a public space that you can just chill. Yes, but and personally, I think work. People are using those facilities whenever they've got some business yeah. uh, calls or I meetings. So. Uh, also, also with uh, some external partners. Look at those chairs and the like seating and the. Do you think people, the public, can just come here and yes, hang out? No problem. There's no like. Look at this one. Oh yeah, there's like even this a little. Such an office thing. But have a workout. And then there is a cafeteria there under the corner. So the, it seems like it's actually open to the public just to come and hang out here, but there doesn't seem like there's a lot of people here. Yeah, Maybe because it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. And the cafeteria is closed, I suppose. Yeah. But it's nice because you, if you even walk out the building, is there anything else to show inside of No, we can no, go right? outside, outside here. there's a very nice uh, sign. You see this man over here, he's got the laptop out working, there's a cafeteria just over there. And um, it's called My Hive. So I'm guessing this is like a kind of businessy, mm -hmm. businessy place for people to work and wow, even over here is very here, here is a square. nice. Sometimes there is a ice skating here during uh, in like the center maybe yeah, or during winter time. So you can see all these buildings in the background. And uh, what does it say on that? sign so over there the, we need to go the other way around but okay. basically it, it means kocham warszawę so i love warsaw i love warsaw <laughs> that's why there is a heart and it's interesting because i can just see some older buildings that are like right next to the to these beautiful skyscrapers so definitely there's a old and new combination happening in warsaw maybe yeah. that in 10 15 years the, the older buildings will get changed into these kind of beautiful buildings there's definitely a futuristic vibe to this outdoor area what is this what on earth? is this like a, looks like a you know like kind of like a cabin for skiing uh, i think you can think actually it looks it like there's a table inside of there yeah but they closed it they've closed it but uh we've got this nice little court courtyard area you've got warsaw spire just over there with a the stun starting to set and over here got a bit of contemporary art so got these kind of futuristic pods with uh, different kind of pictures inside of here very interesting so right next to these beautiful skyscrapers you have very old buildings through here it looks like there's construction happening here that's why it's blocked off but you can see this building right here is being constructed right next to the Warsaw Spire but they have these very old buildings in the kind of background that have the kind of murals on the side of them it looks like they might be knocking it down maybe maybe they can't knock them down because they have to be careful about like yeah. building regulations yes, here is the machine to get the tickets use, out, yes. Billetti tickets. Yeah. So you need to buy we can, carton. Let's do it in, we can do it in different languages. Let's in do it in English. Let's do it in German now. Let's do it in English. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> buy a paper English. ticket. Buy a paper ticket. We need 20 buy a minute. minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, and you can buy actually the way as well. So Three, four. Uh, four? There, there and, and the way. Ah, back. okay. Oh, you've got a monthly card to. Yeah. How much yes. does a monthly card I cost? I am topping it up every three months. Yeah. And it costs me 280 zloty. And you so use it like quite on every day? Or? I use it almost every day, yeah. I think in London, it's very expensive to take the, uh, mm -hmm. the underground and take the metros there. Mm -hmm. Here is very affordable. Yeah, it's affordable and also quite easy once you have it. Oh, is that a yeah, ticket? they are printed. Is this one? No, oh, no, no, no it's not ours. All right, can someone take that one? <laughs> oh, there we go, we got one here. Uh, that's one. Four more. Oh, so it comes out separately. It's really yeah, yeah. why? They are printing because them. we are putting them inside, right? So oh right, but like, why don't they just like give you them all at the but same maybe time? They, they can think about this, you know. This one, make this yeah, make it a bit more efficient. Yeah. All right. Is that everything? Is it stocked? You should have four. One, two, three, three. and there is no four one. There's no four. Is it stuck together? Is there... Do you want to print a receipt of the card payment? Yeah, print a receipt so we can then tell them... And this one? Is it on the floor? It's not ours. Oh wait, it's another one just came out. Yeah. Wait, oh that's the receipt, that's the receipt. So okay, I'm confused. So we already got three tickets? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're glued to each other. I don't know. Uh, this is the receipt. Maybe we can display the receipt? 
Yes, so you bought. Ah, but we need to put it inside, don't we? Yeah. So you bought four of them. It should be the fourth one. There is nothing. So they received us. Yes. Or you guys. This is very modern Warsaw <laughs> right now. Very modern Warsaw. Okay, I think we just need to deal with it. <laughs> so this Polish onion is very unhappy because she has to get one more ticket. Which makes sense because, you know, we've already paid for the tickets, but how much are they per ticket for like a 20 minute so one? it's a free Zloty 40 groszy, which okay. means like, it's like below one. It's like a dollar. One, it's like, like a one dollar. dollar. Yeah. Okay, so it's like not the worst, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yes. All right, now we're getting another ticket. Oh, there we go. We've got our fourth one just here. <laughs> here you go. Yeah, perfect. Happy? And you can, you can. Again, nice and cozy in the here. What do you guys think of your metro? This one is not the newest one, but it's kind of good quality, I would yeah. say. And it's very timely. It's clean. I like that the uh, you can see actually outside of here. Just like that. Again, making fun of me. eyes are bluer? Look, look at Wow, well, I've got also the, those pillows. Yeah, you have pillows as well. How many stops, by the way? I don't have. We will be getting off. Ah, oh, this is Rondo ONZ. Okay. We'll be getting off at Central Cafe. This way? You don't need to put this into no, the door. You just go to this ring. All right. So you don't even need to put this into the machine. God, it's so windy. So right now we're going to be heading into something called Jabka Nano. Now this place is interesting because there are no human beings operating this shop. And what is Jabka, just to let people know? So it's like a convenience store that most of the Polish people use like on an everyday basis. It's like a, it's tr the translation of Jabka is frog. frog. Yeah. So we're going into a frog store that is run by robots and AI, apparently no human beings. Yeah. So we need to use the phone scan a code. to scan a code. So you can see here, 24-7 nano. Okay, so we just... Abbevaced. Press to enter. Oh, you can actually do it in English, look. No. Yeah. Okay, so enter with yeah. Jabka. Oh, you can actually enter with a credit card. Oh, I didn't know. So I... you don't even need to have the app because we tried to put my She's scanning in right now, but yeah. uh, oh, we can go in right now. We tried putting my card on it, but it didn't work. Oh, there we go. All right, let's head inside and see what this is about. You can see all the cameras. Look, there's literally cameras oh everywhere. Uh -huh. We thought surveillance in like Singapore was crazy. So this is this is the next oh level. Oh my god, I feel like being watched. All right, so again, you, it's a typical convenience store here in Poland. Now, <laughs> look at this guy, Shopka Nano. It looks like a robot that is going to prepare a Jabka hot dog. <laughs> I am in need of a Jabka ho hot dog, Carolina. So how do we actually order this? Okay. In English maybe. Yep. So order here. Hot dog, order here. All right. What's the difference, Max? This is the bigger one. Let's go for a standard Jabka hot dog. All right. Next is six lotties, 50. Uh, no. Sausage? Sausage, yeah. Sausage. All right, next. Uh, choose at least one, max two. I want ketchup and I want mustard. Perfect. You can get garlic and thousand irons, but no, you need to have these two. Next. 
Uh, I think that's everything, right? Order. Order. So this is all going to go on Carolina's card. Yes. So Carolina's paying for everything today. So we start preparing your order. Understood. I'm you. All right. We do not print the receipts. Please remember the order number 57. All right. Well, so the robot's grabbing out. <laughs> is this really happening? Is a robot making me a bloody hot dog? So he's getting the bread, the bread uh, roll. And I think he's gonna heat up the bread roll. Wow. Okay, what's happening next? I think we're just waiting. This is insane. All right, robots going now for what? I saw okay. actually robots like preparing coffees or like preparing, I don't know, giving you something from the vending machine, but never like a hot dog. This is ridiculous. Like I'm actually really enjoying yeah, this. So I think that it's warming up your bun. Like the Yeah, so in there there's like a little toasty kind of kind of warmer and it's gonna probably grill or toast my bun. And then you can see all the sausages over here. It looks like these are where the sauces are. Ah, I'm teraz piekiem bulkę. I'm toasting now, like I'm baking now a bun. Okay, so the robot is communicating uh, to us. Time here. Right. Ah, ale wyjmę ją. Oh, it's tasting good. <laughs> Here's the sauce, this is the ketchup it looks like. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay, this looks like maybe some mustard. Yeah, that's mustard. Okay, now I think it's time to grab the hot dog. It's scanning my hot dog, Carolina. I don't know why it's scanning the hot dog. All right, time to grab the hot dog. Let's insert the hot dog into the bun. This is comical. It's literally inserting the hot dog slowly into the bun. Grabbing the hot dog now, where is it gonna? All right, it's putting it over onto this little, it's like sleeping now on its bed. It's grabbing some of the packaging. This is fascinating. The precision it has to get everything I correct. I think this is my hot dog ready, Carolina. I love it. <laughs> Do I, is it open? It's uh, ah. opening automatically. So it's going down there and now it's gonna be coming here. Thank you very much, Mr. Robot. <laughs> and my Jabka hot dog is ready, Carolina. This is nuts. This is so funny. So this was six slotties, 50? Yeah. For a Jabka hot dog. And he replaced the sausage, look. Oh, he replaced the sausages? Yeah. So this, okay, I have no idea where that sausage just came from, but I'm guessing <laughs> from strange, somewhere right? over there. Yeah, that's insane. All right, so <laughs> you can get your regular, um, you know, convenience stuff. Do you want a coffee, Carolina? up to you? I think I'm good. You're good, okay. So you can get a coffee here. Uh, Carolina is not in the mood for a coffee right now. You can get your convenience store kind of essentials here. And look at the cameras, guys. It's just insane. Like the, that's how it's monitoring what I've taken. And um, yeah, this is so, good. so there's no humans. The cameras are checking what you're purchasing. So as you're going through the store, you take something from here, the camera's gonna catch you and then Basically, everything you take as you walk out the door is going to be charged to your card. Are we? And um, actually, it's so interesting is that there's a lot of promos because not so many people actually know how to kind of navigate and enter the shop. So, for example, you can see all of these like promos, promos, promos. So, that's encouraging people to start using. To use it, yeah, because not so many people know how to actually enter the shop like this. All right, should we go out into the cold? Yes. <laughs> All right, so Jabka Nano. Okay, so okay, so we're leaving Jabka Nano. It's gonna charge our cards. So the whole idea here is that they're not paying for labor, so they can probably reduce the costs of things for promotions. Yeah. But it's time to try the Jabka hot, hot dog. dog. Should we do it in front of the uh, yeah, Jabka Nano store? So we've got a hot dog. Let's give this a go. 
Mmm. So the ketchup and the mustard goes really well with the hot dog. Very simple, nice, warm, kind of crusty bread. Actually, it doesn't taste too bad for like basically less than two US dollars. You can grab yourself a nice little hot dog. It's a very nice snack, I must admit. So, Jabka Nano was, <laughs> got a bit of audience, but Jabka Nano was definitely a very nice experience. And actually, for six Lotti 50, you also get the experience of watching a robot preparing you food, which was worth more than that, in my opinion. So Pamela has taken us to Elektrovinia Povishle. Yes. Is that right? That's how it is called. And you can see, it's like a old factory kind of building. You see the brickwork. These are the original chimneys of the factory, right? Mm -hmm. And so what they've done is they've created this kind of factory oh. space and they've turned it into like a, <laughs> I thought she was laughing at me for a second. <laughs> uh, they've turned it into like a contemporary space for, with restaurants. There's uh, a bit like a shopping mall inside. It's like inside. a shopping mall. There are quite of many events organized here as well. For example, mm. today there is an event, I'm slow and some there are some uh, we can go inside later but there are some stands that you can buy like different stuff which is uh, really popular nowadays and they've also got it looks like accommodation that's kind of yes here are some flats to yep. be rented and behind us there are some offices i've got the okay. pleasure actually to work in one of them back uh, then and the Carolina is here yes so i really love the surrounding like it's very industrial and yeah. actually all of these like the little things like these boxes ah, looks, so what, is this yeah. do you think it's original yeah, like it's original it's i just original? read the, the history that they were transporting it like there it are used some to be parts a there are some parts that they needed to remain so you can see the brickwork kind of reminds me of like the brooklyn style of like new york would you guys say like it's got that kind of yeah, i would say so yeah so we've been inside of electro vinia povishle and because it's sunday a lot of the shops are closed, but there's just so many stalls kind of set up outside. You can't really move and it's not that comfortable. But um, is that just because it's Sunday or? Usually on the weekends, they're kind of organizing these events, events. or mm -hmm. like they are trying markets. to overcome this rule of forbidden trade, you know? <laughs> it's like, what's it called? No, no trade Sunday yeah, or free trade, free trade Sunday? Uh, so actually what I wanted to show was more when you go into Electrovinia Pavishle, it's like all kind of brick, it's very open, very modern. It feels like you're in a kind of Brooklyn-esque vibe here in Warsaw, uh, but it wasn't quite like that today. Um, but you guys get what I'm talking about, right? Like the when you walk inside, it's like just open space, you've got brick, you've got beautiful kind of lighting and sh kind of like yeah. chandelier kind of style yeah. of... Uh, kind of atmosphere mm -hmm. but I guess we're gonna have to come back to film some b-roll tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow yeah. to show that because it's literally like chaos inside of there just every single floor there is just clothes stalls and people trying on clothes and yeah it's not very nice it's not very enjoyable to walk through there what was that? But it's uh, three o'clock already. Okay. <laughs> Dzień dobry. Wow, it's so beautiful in here. Look at this. <coughs> so we have come to Brodish Warszawski. And why have you taken this so British it, person? <laughs> so it was actually a restaurant of my choice because mm. it's a very traditional Polish cuisine, but also kind of like fine dining style. It's very fancy. When we were coming in, it looked very kind of traditional, but also very kind of modern. modern. Yeah. Kind of fits the theme of this video. Even in the background, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a classical music playing. And then we have Pamela just here. Yes. With the I'm nice the lucky lighting. One. You see the design in this place, it's very kind of classy. I love the brickwork, but they're using brick here in the restaurant. There are not so many restaurants like this one, so I like the design as well. It's very authentic. Can I go for a duck breast? Mm -hmm. And for me, the long stewed beef. And for me, the fish of the day. Mm -hmm. 
What is the fish of the day? Uh, this is a uh, Polish. Uh, this is white fish. Sandat. Sandat. Okay. You like sandat? Yes, I like sandat. It's a nice fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. a soft one. And white fish. Something to drink for you? Yep. The um, winter tea is a good choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, what exactly is this, guys? Smallage. It's, it's an animal fat. It's an animal fat. So you can use it as a spread. So we've spread some of this smallage on the bread, and this is animal fat. Did you yes. Say? Yes. Okay. Shall I give it a go? Ooh, bread is really warm. We didn't order this. They gave it as an appetizer. Yeah, it's a starter. Mm -hmm. Wow. How do you describe it? Meaty? Mm -hmm. A bit, a little bit salt. I think it's an onion also here. Mm. It's a little bit sweet, yeah, from the <laughs> onion. It's very Polish. This is very Polish. Yes. yes. It's actually very delicious. It's like smearing animal fat on bread mm -hmm. and eating it, but a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. It's quite nice, I like it. Yeah, as an appetizer, perfect. And it's mm. very popular Bardzo in the dobre. mountains. Bardzo Bardzo dobre. Dobre. Bardzo dobre. Thank you. <laughs> so, the very nice waitress brought over a winter tea. Look at the pottery on here. It's so it's beautiful. Ceramic. It's very I love beautiful. It. Oh, it's like old style. Yeah, old style restaurant, right? Style, I would say. Should we pour this one? Yes. So with the winter tea, usually you have the orange served with, I think it's like a... Cinnamon or...? No, it's cloves. Cloves, okay. Yeah. Cloves. With the finger. <laughs> Fancy, oh, fancy. Oh, wow. Very nice color on that. So this is a winter tea. Maybe wait a little bit more. So we have it more fruity. I think it's enough. So I'm gonna try this winter tea. It actually smells so good. Mm. It's fruity. It's kind of orangey as well. And it's really warming you up. So I think that they actually also added some uh, honey inside, that's what they usually do. So it's very good, I like it. So what did I get? I forgot. This is like a slow cooked beef. Yes, in a red wine. In red wine, so you can see it's kind of that sauce on there. I'm just going to give this on a bite. Wow. It's so tender. The sauce is really delicious. It kind of melts in your mouth. It's like a perfect combination of the fat and the meat. So good. And I think you can combine it with some of these these gherkins just over here. So in Poland, for some reason, they love the gherkins. Yeah, we have a lot of pickled vegetables, especially during the winter time. That was a big mouthful. I just wanted to show you my duck because the duck breast, as you can see over here, it's actually pinkish. So I can't wait for um, having a uh, the first bite because I also have a cherry sauce so the pickles definitely give it a bit of a kind of vinegary taste and you've got the taste of the meat with the gravy so you have the pickles and i have my duck served with cherry it's, sauce it's a cherry sauce yes on there. Nice. so i think it's going to be a very good combination and i've got my lazy pierogi here but it's not lazy it's not it's actually more like a savory yeah, type kopitka. of one kopitka and what does that mean? Kopitka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit different. Mm. It's without um, white cheese. It's with potatoes, I think. Yeah, I don't know if you can show it on the camera, but it's got like, this kind of green kind of sauce. Mm. Looks like pesto. Mm. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh my god, this fruit yeah. is so good. I've got that fish and it's also very nice because at first I thought it's only tomato sauce, but I actually I've got vegetables also hidden. And then I've got like a few potatoes roasted ones and then the Polish white fish which is also very nice and very tasty so I really like the option yeah. wow look at this it's like a what is this is it... <laughs> coffee? Oh, wow. it's a coffee coffee grinder maker. okay oh, wow. all right okay is there like any kind of service on there or I don't know is there any service on no uh, could we add 10 percent okay so giving a little bit of tip, very nice waitress. You're going to be famous on YouTube. <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> oh, it's like a little drawer like this. Oh, look at that, it's a mermaid, like yeah. for the symbol of symbol Warsaw. Of Warsaw. Oh, yeah, this is actually Prodish, so it's kind of like a this pot. Prodish means what? What's the translation? Like some sort of an old-fashioned pot or frying pan. Okay. There we go. We can show it on the way. Dziękuję bardzo dobrze. Is my Polish okay? 
Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're from Poland. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm from... Almost. I'm almost. Almost. <laughs> I've been adopted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By these Polish uh, ponczki. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. The best. The best. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, man. Bye. <laughs> She's so nice. All right, so we're going to head outside into the cold. Whoa, the door's so heavy here in Warsaw. <laughs> All right. All right. Which way are we heading? This way. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice service there. Unbelievable. We loved it. It was a great experience in there. Very beautiful, delicious food. My belly is so full. I'm yeah. guessing you guys as well. Yeah. Very satisfied. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed modern Warsaw and the lovely Pamela joining us along for the... Thanks for inviting me. Yes. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>